welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. On your right is a virtual robot, and that will test different things you program. This is the fifth National Robotics Week, and the idea was really just celebrate the United States as a leader in the industry of robotics, introduce robotics to students as a career path, because it's oftentimes not something that's thought of, um, and really start to highlight some of the work that's being done in universities, schools, and programs around the country. So it's an event that happens all over the United States at the same time. He's going to be sitting down at first, correct? Yeah. yeah. So first we'll have him stand up. Yeah. Stand up. These students are working with now NAO robot all the time, right? It's not just for National Robotics Week. So that's what's really exciting is to see what these students are, have been doing in their robotics club, and that's what we will be looking at today. You made his steps shorter. Yeah, I think we made it. You made his steps shorter instead of his distance shorter. Whether they go into robotics or not, the type of thinking required to program a robot, to use robotics in every field is so key now. Whether it's manufacturing or um, automotive or any of the other careers that are out there, students need to be exposed in some ways to uh, robotics and coding. And so we are using our uh, after-school STEAM program where we have about uh, 120 students uh, across 6th uh, through 8th grade to work with other students who are not in those programs and expose them to possibilities to make sure that all of our students kind of have an opportunity to, to get the spark. Really, I think students learn best from other students sometimes. So we're trying to give them the exposure from their classmates that have been working weekly um, in this program to become experts in it and then turn keying into their peers, giving them the opportunity to see some of the things that we're working on and at the same time exposing more and more students, which is our ultimate goal. Hello, it is great to meet you all. My name is Nell. I am now a robot. I was purchased by Shift for the students of South Huntington Schools. Certainly a tremendous amount of thinking that goes into it, and a lot of steps, too. Um, to have the robot do maybe a, a minute sequence takes a tremendous amount of time for the students, and it takes a lot of time for them to work at it. So uh, it's certainly not a just press play type of moment for them. Um, but if they do get to see all that hard work, and eventually in that minute program, they know exactly what it took to put that in. You know what? Why don't we do give him a proper sitting? I'm going to turn his motors off okay. so get ready to catch him. He's going to fall. You know, the hands-on stuff really you know, gets the kids on board. And it's nice to try different things. I mean, I have some kids who do better in the computer lab than they do in the uh, technology lab, who maybe do on a project 15, 20 points better when we do a different type of learning, a different type of activity. Most districts do not have the funding available in their general budget to have innovative programs like STEM programs. So what I do is I bring them opportunities to take those great ideas that say, if I had all the money in the world, what could we make happen? I'm working with a school district right now on Long Island that is starting with two um, now robots, but will purchase another 10 in July to start an, an intense STEM program for their elementary buildings. As a district, we had some conversations and said, wow, this is something that would really expose our kids um, to cutting edge technology technology um, in a fun, innovative way. And so we look to our South Huntington Educational Foundation to say, could you help support this? Um, because, listen, robotics uh, are not exactly cheap, um, but with the help of grants and, and support of our foundation, we were able to get a number of robots for our kids to provide them, again, with that cutting edge um, technology and support. So many jobs out there that um, ask students to use technology, coding, uh, programming languages to do tasks, but it can only do those tasks if somebody is behind it. So, you know, as, as certain jobs are being phased out because uh, technology is taking over, new jobs are being created because somebody has to program those tools to actually have that happen. Yeah.